What is up, people? On the VOD channel, we are back in Baldur's Gate 3. We just saved that lady that was praying to Saloon for protecting this inn. Chat says that I have uh, protection against the darkness. You mean to reach Moonrise, and I have orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in We're going to the towers now. Even a torch cannot quell it. Yet, the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. Let's take on that convoy. Go ahead, I'll catch up. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Blessing of Saloon. So you're saying that I have this blessing? I does say Blessing of Saloon right there on all my people. Radiance protects against the lesser effects of Shadow Curse, but beware, even her light cannot guard against the darkest shadow. Darkest shadow probably meaning like when we went into that house right here, it was really dark in there. I want to know what's in there. D wait, did we, we went in there. Didn't I send, send a Shadow Heart in there? There's a treasure in the water. You should jump in. Backseat. Here we go. So where are we headed? We're here, and we need to go here. Right? No, here. Nope, that's House with Flowers. Ambush site. Oh, it's way down there. Okay, the map's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So the Moonride Towers are right here, then. Bella Potato 79 months. Yippee! Welcome back. You're immune to, like, all shadow now. Oh, I can just go in the house? Once again, I think we actually did. Okay. Let's go House of Flowers first. How do I mark things in the map now? Whatever. Straight ahead. Can't miss it. We actually haven't been this way, though, so let's, let's try this. There's so many wicked things in here. Must be careful. Bunch of dead bodies. See, now that probably means a fight. Excuse you? Probably a fight of some sort. Quick save. Successful. Hello. This is awful. Rest in peace, my friends. Everyone failed the investigation. You. Save whore. Now here crunching. They were killed by the potato. Signature move. Planting potatoes on the dead bodies. Could sell this stuff. Something's definitely gonna attack me right now. Warn key. Keep that. Anyone see a box? Getting some Fangorn Forest vibes here from the, these weird noises. Arrows of Fire. <clears throat> I think... Shadowheart is technically firing... Arrows. Hand crossbow, no... Lame. Carrot. Prison key. Storage key. An orange? That's a nice looking orange. Acid vial. Or Shadowheart. 
she had the lowest DPS, I think, of everybody. She we we re um, made her as a healer. Well, that's not ominous or anything. Where is this going? This way, I think. So let's maybe veer off and get to that house with flowers first. Looks not good. I heard there was pretty flowers over here. Still not really in the right direction. Should we go back? We could loop around too. Healer slash tank. Yeah, I guess. There's something up there. Can we climb? Could probably jump it. With Carlac. Was that a teleport point? Nice. The only pretty flower here is you. The only pretty flower here is you. Nice 100 bits. Steve. Or I can't even get up there. That's chasm. Okay. Um, shoot. Roots. Here we go. This doesn't look like something I want to touch, but I'm probably going to go touch it. <coughs> Shadow cursed undead. What does that mean now? Don't step on him! Those who die in the shadow are cursed to remain there forever. These undead have reduced hit points and strength, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's touch them. Gray Scout's journal. Shittin' near and his shittin' scoutin' tasks. You'd wear gar, find another way through the shadow curse. Sure, right. Shittin' near. Whoever laid this curse knew their business a lot better than you do. What was that? You're not going to write down what was that. Gnomes, gnomes, I killed you in the Underdark. You can't be. Unless he's writing a song. Ha ha ha, I found your way through the curse. Shit and near. The way through the Shadow Curse is to let curse go through you. Ha 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 ha. Beautiful, I must have it. I do believe the Shadow Heart has the shovel. Silver Goblet. Oil of Accuracy. Give that to Carlac. Elixir of Bark Skin. Drink to increase your armor class to 16. Does anybody not have armor class? Uh, maybe Gale. You're 14. Let's give that to Gale. Let's try to remember that we have that. Bark skin potion. That sounds really helpful because he gets targeted because of his low AC. A lot. Okay, that was necessary. Just owl bear from the top ropes myself. So that's progress. Black oleander. Grab it. Nice. We are kind of heading in the right direction. It's saving for me, which means something's coming up. It's the House of Flowers. Dead Gith Yankee. <clears throat> Rotting baskets? Hell yes. Silver ingot. 
shadow sack root. Glowing dead body. Who are you? I'm Oliver. I'm seven. Will you play with me? Study the boy. Try to understand his true nature. Intelligence minus one. Bolstering magic boon. I guess. So that's a high roll. Yeah, we. Yeah, okay. No luck. Roll it again. Go for it. Oh, come on! Screw it. Something is amiss about the boy, but exactly what eludes you? Eludes me. It could be the, you know, his eye. You want to play? Fine. And if I don't find you? Then you lose. Get ready. And no cheating. Just leave him there. Is he in the house? I'm assuming. Silver band. Nothing special about that. Wooden chest is locked. How about this, sucker? BAM! Examine? Oh. <laughs> what if the kid was in there? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Ring of mental in inhib inhibition. I can say that word. I have been to fifth grade. Mental inhibition. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue. Which is... Minus one penalty to wisdom, intelligence, and charisma saving throws for every turn remaining. When it fails, it takes one to four psychic damage. It hurts itself in its confusion. It doesn't seem that good. I didn't mean to take those. Stuffed Owlbear toy, it's me. Alright, I'm starting to think that the kid's not here. Maybe one of those keys that you picked up can unlock this. No? Well then, BAM! Oliver's diary. Was that kid Oliver? Oh, I love that ring. One to four damage. Eh. When I'm doing like 40 with Carlac, nothing ever happens in this town. I'm ready to go to the gate. If mother won't let me, I'll run away myself. She says my lungs are too weak for the smoke, but how am I living at all? When all I do is milk the rothe? When all I do is milk the rothe, as in the animals. <laughs> A strange fog is descending over our town. Hasn't left in days. It's getting hard to breathe. Mother is eating her words, saying we should head out to the city to stay for a while until it lifts. We go at dawn. We try to leave, but there are creatures from beyond the grave skulking around the outskirts of our land. It's too late. Wrote they are all possessed, knocking down their fence, battling and bashing one another to death, dying and then fighting again. The shadows are everywhere. Everyone. The shadows are everyone. Right outside our window, I can't see more than a few strides out. I'm not dead yet, but I'm going to die here, aren't I? I can hardly breathe. Why does it not get into our house? Why doesn't the curse take us already? Day 35. I can't stand this. I've been trying to write a memoir of myself, but it's still no good. I'm too weak to pen fine words. I'm going to die unremembered, be what may. 
It's getting pointless to cower here. There's nothing we can do about all this all encroaching dark. Tomorrow I will walk out into the fog and I will laugh with love, a farmhand forever to be unknown. Wondrous story. So how do we find this kid? Is he just hiding somewhere in the land? No, it looks like... I was gonna say, in this area, but that's just the house with flowers. Hmm. I don't see anything else that we can really interact with. Milk and what? <clears throat> Rothe is like the weird looking goat animals in this. Heck man, I don't I don't know. I would guess the kid would be close. Am I supposed to be able to see him? Could he be up above? Could it be in this bush? Just light everything on fire? He looked like he was like, I don't know, just gloaming and stuff, so I don't know if we're just gonna like find him. Maybe he's invisible, maybe I have to have some sort of like true sight or something. I was trying to open a basket. Let's play again. Don't be a sword loser. This kid's gonna attack me. Good idea. You're smarter than some playmates I've had. They always tried to leave before I was done with them. Try to find me again, but my family will be looking for you at the same time. So don't get caught. Uh oh. Mom. Daddy. D Daddy. Where's the hat? The kid said not to be seen, lol. <coughs> <laughs> so we don't want to kill daddy. Or mommy. Mummy. Uh, are they gonna move? Shoot, man. We automatically crouch, so yeah, it does seem like this is a stealth-based thing. And if I get caught, probably have to fight them. Kid will probably be upset that I killed daddy and mommy. Examine daddy. got necrotic immunity, poison immunity, slashing resistance, piercing resistance, bludgeon resistance, acid resistance, thunder resistance, fire resistance, lightning resistance, cold resistance. Hmm. Not any radiant resistance, though. Maybe you still avoid them, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for... I mean, they might turn around, I don't... Like, look, you just turn and see me in, into the house, but... Maybe I can find the kid. Oh, is he in there, you think? Is it Abyss? Doesn't... Chasm, I mean? Doesn't look like I can even get in there. Um, find the kid before the first turn's even over, maybe, is the way to go. But... Where could he be? Can I dash, crouch, up here, is he over here? It just seemed like I had to get... What happened? I found him! What the heck? I found him! Daddy's lecture. What the frick happened? Doggy now? No, he's a sore loser. 
All right, we're going to get a free shot off here. Radiant. What do you got? Radiant. Netherese Orb Blast? Oh, that's, yeah, let's try that one. That's probably the one I want. You don't have any Radiant. You've got a bunch of crap, is what you've got. All right, to Baldur's Gate 3 action, this game just keeps getting better, and I took a break from it too. Keep on pushing, baby. It's 25 months, duty. Cloud of Daggers, she has a slashing resistance, but not immunity. Does anybody have, uh, Radiant? Anything? Shadowheart definitely does. Shadow Arts got to get in the middle and, and pop a Spirit Guardian. You actually could get all the way up there. So maybe I'll cast Spirit Guardian and then just, just go. Are they force resistant? Uh, I don't think it's anything about force. Thunder, lightning, fire, acid. Cold poison. So purple is force. Why can you walk this far? Oh, because you haven't started, uh... Like, I guess you are still in turn base, so it does seem like you just have a lot of movement speed. For some reason. Dog is invisible, though. And then, what, dog reappeared next to Carlock, or dog is still gone? So I, I could, like, accidentally walk into the dog. Depending on where it is. Let's see here. We want to go Radiant. Oh, now we join the battle, sure. Get up in there. Five damage. Alright. That's not what I wanted to hear. So you have... <clears throat> oh, Force is red. So we can magic missile. Deaf, not necrotic, lol. Yeah, I thought that was the saying level two, level three. No, it was necrotic or radiant. Owlbear, how do you get to the top ropes? Let's let's focus on what's important. I think you're just gonna wanna jump into battle. Can you maybe you could sneak around the back? And you could jump on mom. That would be nice. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Gail, you don't need to come. For this. What's the button to separate groups? I. T. G. G. For group. Gail, like, I actually kind of want you at the front door, but then you're going to get hit by the dog. Risk it anyways. Alright. Back to Albert. You're gonna do Rapture, Rupture the Earth, causing debris to tear through objects and nearby creatures. Disengage. Crushing flight. That's the one. Ready? Oh! From the bottom ropes. 13 damage. So, I saw the kid, right? The kid was running this way through. It might be that they're like, don't... Oh, there he is. Maybe we just need to touch Oliver. That could be a thing. We just have to reach him and maybe mommy and daddy go away. Instead of killing mommy and daddy, like I said. A howl bear slinking around. <coughs> Maybe I should just fire a magic bolt into Oliver's face. Anyone in favor of this? If I kill Oliver, mommy and daddy go away. How about Gail's Misty Step? I don't think we have Misty Step. I think we have Misty Step because it's an item that we're there. Yeah. You think? Like right there? Does that work? 
Gotcha! Pickpocket him, yeah! Ring of Shadows, pass without trace. Oh, you're gonna get so... Yeah, steal it. That's how he's moving around, baby! Sleight of hand failed. We'll do it again. He said that was easy. I think it's just not gonna let me. I think I passed it. But it won't let me do it. Just get up and talk to the child, lol. I don't want to talk to the child. I want to pickpocket him and, and steal his ring so he can't have it and... and... Bruh! Try as much as you want. Dude got played! Alright, let's talk to him. You're good at this. Are you sure you didn't cheat? But I can't let you think me a bad sport. Here's your prize. Wait. You'll need it. <laughs> I was gonna say he's gonna reach to the ring. <laughs> Anyways. We managed to beat all... I'm trying to read. Oh my, we get it. I'm inspired. We managed to beat Oliver at his own game. He gave us a pizza. No, that's his prize for finding him. We got polished ring. That sucks. I think that it was supposed to give me the ring that I stole from him, and then they just put in some non-magical ring here. It gives it to you anyways. Hey, we got a bonus. Bruh. Not back to gloat, are you? Nobody likes a bad winner. I still think you might have tricked me. If you did, I'll figure it out. <laughs> just staring at him like, kid, really? You some kind of stupid? Nice. I had a feeling that that might just end if we if we walked up to him. But I also felt like we already found him when he was running across the room, but I guess not. Whatever. Um, do we want this Ring of Misty Step? Ring of Shadows? Pass Without Trace ability? Mm, it's really more of a rogue assassin type item. It's not really fitting my MO right now. We skipped this area. Worth checking it out. A pickles lead. Can't really get up there. Could jump, but is anything? Oh, that looks kind of exciting. Yeah, let's go check that out. I'm windy, windy to get there though. Backtrack a bunch. WTF is passed without trace. Yeah, it's just stealth. Nothing really did come of this party that was dead. Stealth, if it was awesome. I just don't really have anybody that would, like, use... Hmm, it's probably a trap coming up. Nothing left to do but to spring it. Jerry Springer. Okay. We keep failing our perception checks. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think uh-oh is, is the first word coming to mind. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Might be the most amount of enemies that I think I've ever seen in my entire life. It doesn't feel like we're supposed to come here. 
by activating this many enemies, it's like... You walked into the wrong area, you're gonna fucking die. The only way out of this is to... Save whore, and never come back. How about you guys get 700 turns per, and then I'll go? That could be cool. Stupid surprise mechanic. And now I can't even walk through this because it's cursed vines. It's just difficult terrain, or does it hurt me? Just difficult terrain, maybe? Holy flippin' dickholes. Jump is a bonus, right? But so is my rage. Magic lashes out to whoever... Whenever you take damage. Okay, that sounds pretty nice. Am I gonna hit this guy in front of me, or am I gonna try to get up there... ...into the thick of things? 156 health. On the shambling mound. Vines, push them off, question mark. I think we just gotta... ...hit this guy. Nine damage. They're using the Shattered Flail to heal myself. That's right. Um, can you hit him again? If I miss, I can Reckless Attack, but I think I get crits back against me. You should probably drink that... AC... Posh. That we just got. Where is that? I gave it to you, I swear. Am I oh here it is. Elixir of bark skin. And then some sort of AoE here. Magic missile, my favorite AoE. Chromatic Orb could be good. Let's see if these guys have any weaknesses. Just Necrotic Resistance. Fire Resistance on this guy. Lightning Immunity. Cold Resistance. Cause I could do like a Cloud of Daggers, like right here. That could be good. Fireball Wand! I... Fire Bolt. What does this wand got? No fireball wand. We can cloud of daggers right here. Pretty good. And your turn, I guess. Carlock, you're pretty done. Pickles! <clears throat> Might hurt my own people, but I think this is worth it. <laughs> Rupture the earth, calling debris to tear through nearby objects and creatures. Can I move forward a little bit? Without an opportunity attack? No, it seems like from you, guaranteed opportunity attack. But even if I move forward that much, I still get an opportunity attack from the dead Harper. Danger close. Fire, fire, fire. I could try to, like, do, like, a... Disengage. Right? But disengage is an action, or is it a bonus? It's an action. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Somehow I was thinking I could, like, move forward a little bit, but... Still voting for push throw. Push throw, like, into the... Blades. I don't know. I think this AoE is going to be nice, especially if I could wipe out these guys that have like 10 health left. 55% chance to, to what? To not cast it? Just move Shadow Butt. I can do that. You're right. Since it's a block. Time to push my luck again. Oh, they are going to be pushed. Right. Okay. I see that. There are little lines. This guy can't be pushed into that. But a lot of these guys could be pushed. This one, maybe off the edge. Ooh.
Oh. They're explosive. Those guys blow up. We did take a lot of them out, though. Pickles is definitely down. Good thing that didn't count is Pickles getting hit like 17 times. You have the ability to pick somebody up. So do that. Pick them up. Mass heal word? Not yet. There you go. Get up. <coughs> I might get him again with it. If I really wanted to. What was the, the deal with this guy? Just necrotic? Yeah, maybe he just hit. Let me just walk up and punch him. Oh, he's got three health left! Is he also gonna explode, though? When his turn starts, I think he takes extra damage from the Cloud of Daggers. I think he's just gonna go. Mm, I could shoot a, an arrow, I guess. 30% chance. 35 if I hit him. This is just trash. We already know that you're trash, though. Push him. Mm, mm, mm. Get a little hammy shot. Guiding bolt would push it up to 40%, but it's still trash. Examine him first, he's probably gonna nuke. External dige digestion can devour any creature that is restrained and stepping in its digestive juices. Can't be surprised. <laughs> Good thing we saved, like, all of these vines, like, a hundred frickin' times. Vine Blight, do you have explosion? No. But you? Nope. It was just the little guys. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna, like, quick save, because that, that handled a lot of crap that we didn't have to deal with when, when they all exploded like that. And it was only Pickles that took the brunt of it, so fine. I'm fine with that. Alright, try, try to hit him. 30% chance to kill him. He's probably gonna die in his next turn anyways, so... Where do I go from here? Oh, you're up. Can you do something? No, because getting you up was your action. I could Wild Shape again. And that doesn't sound like that bad of an idea, because... It'll give him, like, more health. If, if something does happen to him. Wild shape cat. Bird? Dude, the raven is so good. Drink a potion. I, I think that... So, I, I have a friend that's really, really deep into Baldur's Gate, and just D&D &D in general. And he always says, Wait till your character gets down before you heal them. I don't know if that's a thing, but... Like, 11 health is fine, because it, it, apparently you're gonna take more damage than you could possibly heal most of the time. It's just the fact that he loses his action when he gets downed, right? That sucks. Am I gonna go back? Owlbear, Rothe, Wolf, Panther could be cool. Yes, wait. How about just normal bear? Bring it back. Am bear. Still can't eat him, though. No. You can throw an alchemist fire, though? No. You could drink it. I hurt. Curse of Iron Blight on Shadowheart. She saved. Crap! <laughs> Runs. Alright, the dagger cloud got him. Phenomenal. Now we have to figure out how to deal with these guys. They seem pretty beefy, considering Karlak is only doing, like, 9 damage. But she does have her whip out. What was her thing again? The rage was... Deal damage back to anybody that deals damage to me. Of course, they're not targeting me anymore. They probably know this. Kinda want Karlak, actually, to just... Get up on that guy. You could take an attack of opportunity and be fine. Right? Get this ranged guy. You're fine. You're doing great. You're gonna get that health back when you smack him anyways. Go. Go. Can you go? What's going on? She's stuck. 
Maybe she's in these vines? I don't know. Not enough movement now. Well, you wasted all your movement. Jump. There you go. That wasn't so hard. Was it? Alright. Back in business. Blight guy explodes on death! You should wait till they're downed again, because if it's multiple attacks, they'd die. You shouldn't wait. If it's multiple attacks, they'll die. That's, yeah, that's a good point. But is it? What does too dark mean, by the way? It says too dark on them. You see that? So that's, they, uh, my hit chance is low, because it's dark. Probably. Oh, well. Magic missile? No. You need to cancel your cloud of daggers so that we can get through that. Probably don't need that anymore. And... What are we thinking? Just casting some random thing? Firebolt. Light him up. Critical miss at 81% chance. That's pretty bad. Alright. Not cool, bro. Looks like... Gale got grabbed there. Chat said these guys aren't gonna explode when they die. Move away from the chasm. Oh, yeah. Shadow heart might fly off. One way to find out! Oh, one health left. Here. You go over here. And then take a little pot shot. Right in his butt. Dead. Okay. No explosion. Yet. Could be that all this stuff, like, could ignite or something. Who knows? Great job, though. Yeah, ranged guy on my... Right in front of your face, melee-ness. He just whiffed on that second one. What happened? Oh, we did get him. There was a, like a weird delay there. Hang on, people. Hang on! Ah! God, that bothers me when, like, the, the thing ends, and then they're like, All right, just run into the fire. No one cares anymore. Just die. I'm surprised. The only reason we, we survived this whole thing is because uh, we were a bear and we ignited a nuke. It killed literally like 10 things. But yay. What is this? Ironwood Club. It's got a plus one. And that's it. Not very cool. Oh, where are these shadow... Freaking things. Is there a time limit on these things? You guys, would you knock it the fuck off? Such unnecessary damage that they're taking right now in these vines. Alright. Should we climb? Do a little bear hop. What do we got going on here? Bottle and diary. Read it. Fool me to think I'd fare better than the other treasure hunters in this god-cursed wasteland. But the promise of a cursed beast as a trophy was a temptation I couldn't leave behind. Bloody needle blights took me by surprise, though I'm not sure how. How could I have expected anything less? It's all so much worse than I imagined. Found a key up here, but unless it unlocks a chest full of water and sunlight, I have no use for it. Where? Is this key? Right there. Alright, well we don't know what that key does. Oh, well, probably that, if I had to guess. Boink. 
Unlocked. Used key. Ring of self-immolation. Self-immolation. Uh, set yourself on fire. Carla, I could probably do that. Not fully understanding what we're doing that for, but... Give that to Carlock, I guess. Alright. One of the patches was supposed to help so that your teammates... Oh, that was the dumbest looking <laughs> ladder animation. Your teammates aren't supposed to get stuck anymore when you're jumping around. Putrefied tumor. Alchemy ingredients. Alright. Everyone walk through the thing again, get stuck and hurt. Great, yep, perfect. Just like we practiced. Thanks, guys. Can we eat that tumor? <coughs> it's an alchemy ingredient. It does seem like we could turn it into a potion. Alright. We beat him! Against all odds. Not everything is worth exploring, let's be honest. You never just go through something and like get a nice permanent bonus to your stats or something, unless you level up, of course. There's always a give and take with every single thing. Tumors, it's what's for dinner. Which way do we want to go, really? Down here, maybe? Ambush site? House of Flowers is still on the list. Did we miss something in there? Is there something to do with the House of Flowers? Reach the ancient temple. Max's lover was one of the tieflings taken by the cultists. She's lost without him. Roland's brother and sister were kidnapped by cultists along with some of their tieflings. Um, held at Moonrise Towers. Hidden in the waning moon. He who, was, who, he who was wants to bring justice to the victims of a murderer. To do so, he needs a ledger belonging to the killer. It's in the waning moon. What's the waning moon? I don't see anything here in the journal about it. Ring must be good shit for that battle. The light myself on fire ring or the uh, move in the shadows ring. Here's the ambush. I don't know if I'm ready yet. And what was the the last moon? This is also showing up. Is there a way, though, to, like, click on the House of Flowers and see which journal entry this is trying to tell me about? Tavern on the southwest side or something, right? Ledger. Right there. Okay. There really should be a way to do that. Click on this and then it'll be like, here's the journal entry. House of Flowers is bugged, I think. It's in the town near the tower. Over here? Let's see, let's back up and head down here. I mean, maybe we should just do it. If we find some way to sneak through the, the darkness, I guess. I, d I didn't want to go through the, the story too far and then not be able to do all the side quests, but that's probably not going to be what's happening here. Might give me a better tool to cope. Some copium for this darkness. Rotten blue cheese. Setting an ambush, maybe I shouldn't have a roaring fire. Wait, is that a whole pie? Rope is pointless.
All right, I'm here. Can't believe rope does nothing. Endless possibilities. I'm here. Go what? Your faithful stand ready, Majesty. Soon, much. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, web ass. Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Clear your throat to make yourself known. Stay hidden, keep watching. Signal the harpers to attack. That's bonk-worthy lull. Stay hidden. Keep watching. Stay in the light. They do not go into the dark. I didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward. No! They will not go into the dark. Enough! Stop! They will not become shadows. They will not feed the curse. Forgive me, my queen, but I had to, before the dark got any stronger. So, like, we found a way to traverse the darkness, yet these super evil guys, the spider centaur, is, like, freaking the hell out. Speaking of copium. I try to fade into the background until they pass. I like how Karlak and Gale, they're just glowing back there. Emerge from the shadows and attack. This might be the, a good time to attack. He might also kill more of his people. I don't know, but... We've established you're not stealthy. Well, she does have the heavy armor on, so yes. Adamantine splint armor. Disadvantage. Signal to the Harper. <laughs> or I could talk to him. Harpers. Oh, I really wanted to go first to, to Polar Bear from the top ropes. Sanctuary on itself, which means I can't attack it. Right? Uh, you, these guys are in the dark now. Cannot harm. Sanctuary. Can I dispel Sanctuary? I think AoEs still hit him, right? So, like, if I did the uh, Spirit Guardians again. Resistance is none. Protected by the light of a Moon Lantern. The Shadow Curse does not affect this entity. Affected entity and its allies deal additional damage. As long as it is inca incapacitated. That is BS. I'll do Spirit Guardians again. Probably have to do a long rest after this anyways. 16 damage, there we go. It's not a whole lot. But it's not nothing. Gale, you took a, a real hit there. Like half your health. That one arrow. The enemies are down here. You could just maybe sit in front of Gale and camp him. And protect him from whatever this carness is. Light of the Absolute. You're, you're pretty done, I guess. Vicious Mockery is face. Now this is my happy place. Carlac, maybe I'll send you out to get these guys. And we'll just leave that guy there. If we kill all, everybody else, once the sanctuary runs out, we're just gonna like... 
on him. You know what I mean? Watch this. Miss. I forgot about rage. Better late than never. What are you thinking so far, my bro? I mean, we're many, many hours in, so I'm loving it. Lights surround you and do what now? Can I see what you got going on? Oh, she looks pissed. Protective lights. Protected by multicolored lights. Plus one bonus to armor class. Sick. All right, you probably just want to get back and be cast a spell and run. On it. This. Is this what's what's this big or that's just the moon lantern, right? It's not like some nuke that's going to go off in 5 seconds. Fifteen health. Firebomb. I wonder if they're healing. They might be healing inside of the Moon Lantern. Still Sanctuary. Did they get an attack of opportunity? I don't think so, because if he attacks me, then he loses his Sanctuary. Goading Roar. Should we bring him in? Why ask when you could inspect? Inspect doesn't always answer the question. And sometimes I just outwardly say what I'm thinking. Streamer thing. No, Moon Lantern won't heal. Well, he did something to heal. It's my action. Goading Roar. I feel like whenever you do a thing like this in games, usually you get like a buff to your AC. But goated, goated, saved. He's the goat, did Lunar Mend. Kill yourself. Attack of opportunities are really nice. Until the frickin' bear dies. You die. The absolute will be so. Sanctuary's done. Nope. I guess Pickles is down. Who did a thing? Jake Rogers. Where did this uh, rog come from? I think somebody just cast a rog companion. Your turn. Thank you, Jake Rogers. Keep pushing out the great content. You make so many people's days. Appreciate the 628 super chat. We're gonna get you up. I could help him up to save from, you know, having to spend anything. How how's everybody doing, by the way? Carlock's full health. Shadowheart's good. I was gonna say we could mass heal word, but yeah, I guess we'll just pick his ass up. Get up, pickles. Alright. Now what? I still have Sanctuary, so we should just run in there. We could run down here and hit two people here or three people here. Let's go three people here. I don't know why you got an attack of opportunity there. I guess I moved just far enough away. I didn't see the, the arrow. I said you'd do that, but sure. I 
Don't know what else to do. Cast Sanctuary on Pickles, maybe, right now, since he's, like, really low. Kodak. I wish you weren't out here, but you are out here now. Did you just run in? Probably. Sluggedly. Crit hit, nice. Karlak healing per hit with this shattered flail. Mm. <coughs> I'll start using some of this stuff. I haven't been using any of this stuff. I should, I should use it before I attack, but... I, I, know, I don't remember until it tells me, hey, this is actually a bonus action because it's the only thing you have left. That's when I remember. Gale, you're not in a good position. Uh, you were trying to run out of battle. Turns out you're smack dab right in the middle. Between two Ritz Crackers. Nether Azor Blast. Done. Doesn't healing bring them back up and heal them at the same time? It does, but it costs a spell slot to do so. Whereas if I just help him up, I can then use that spell again later. If I'm next to him, and I'm gonna do basically the same thing, why not save... Save myself the thing with the stuff. Healing him when you're at low is... He's gonna get one shot down anyways, probably. As he just did. Right there. Um... Yeah, wh what can you do? Shocking Grasp. It's like one of the only melee things you have. Advantage on creatures with metal armor. Oh, you don't have metal armor. He doesn't have shit on. He's... Nagy. Milf arrow? No resistances, so... I kinda like that. Oh, it's a horrible chance to hit, though. Because it's a ranged thing, and he's, he's in melee range, so let's just... Shock and grasp them then. They were smart enough. I could just disengage too. Maybe that's a good move. Disengage, use his turn to just kind of try to get someplace safer. So that next turn he can start firing things in. Can't really climb up the ladder, it's on fire. Up, 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 up. I'm gonna disengage. Uh, a mage on his turn when he can't do what he needs to do, he's not gonna do much of anything anyways. So, let's just like, move down here. If they chase me, that's not good, and they totally might. You know, going after the backliner would be kind of a smart move. But I suppose I could have disengaged and tried to sneak back over here, and these guys can hit me though. That guy was still goaded. But not, not to the polar bear. It's kind of a brain dead move there. We're out of wild shape charges. Hmm. Shillelagh then? Why can't you cast spells? Oh, because you got up. You, you got up and it used your, your thing, your action. So Shillelagh then. gonna buff my attacks with my my staff. That's what that does. Healing potion. <laughs> Just to get one shot again, once again. It's okay. He just doesn't want to take multiple hits. That's why I quick saved. That's why the game froze. Many patches in. Nice. Good stuff. Ma'am? I heard late game was kind of buggy. There we go. Betty attacked Karlak. When an ally is attacked by a nearby creature, you may strike the attacker. I missed anyways. 
game is kind of being a little buggy where it's it's kind of freezing up and then like enemies like that guy was sliding around there's a weird delay that guy just set off a nuke oh my god holy smokes did he just sh uh hang on hang on hang on <laughs> i think he cast <coughs> sanctuary on himself again Enemy down. <laughs> Cannot harm sanctuary. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You should be able to still AOE harm him, though. I'm thinking you jump right in the middle here. Holy smokes, that was pretty good. Betty went down. This guy's got two health. Yeah, you should hit him. There it is. Sweet, dude! Good stuff. Can't harm this guy. So who's to harm now? Oh, the warg went away because I think this guy summoned him, right? Are you going to disengage to go all the way down here to hit this four health guy? You do have a thing where you kind of go crazy if you don't constantly deal damage. That's the downside of the Shattered Flail. They go mad if they don't continue hitting an enemy each turn. So I guess that settles it. I'm going, to enjoy this. going for a jog. <laughs> Bonk. Alright, now jog back. Incoming. How do you have so much movement speed? And you finally get the ability to do the thing that you're supposed to do. Mill Pharaohs. Oh, he's got Sanctuary, that's right. Um, something AoE then. That would be Cloud of Daggers, Chromatic Orb. Do a Chromatic Orb then. He doesn't have any. Special resistances. So let's just pick one. Fire. Two damage! Yep, yeah, buddy! I have never seen Chromatic Orb. A uh, hurl a sphere that deals 3 to 24 damage, possibly creates a surface on impact. Alternatively, choose a different type of damage. Alright. Uh, <laughs> two damage, buddy. Pickles. Chi restoration. Do you have anything? Yeah, you could do a couple like Moonbeam? Moonbeam probably works, right? I just hope it doesn't hit any of our teammates. Moonbeam on the guy that's got a moon lantern. Does that make any sense? Who knows? What class are you? My playable character is a druid. Opportunity attack or warcaster? Shocking grasp. 10 damage. Good stuff. Oh, wow. Nice. Go team. Ambush is working. So you are a furry. Ak, 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 ak. 14 damage just by walking close to him. That's the best you're going to get, you know? Blazing retaliation. Huddle behind your shield to increase your armor class by one and reap scorching retaliation upon attackers who miss you. Oh, wow. I wish I would have done that first. Class action. Lawsuit. Um. Yeah, what do you want to do? 
How do you want to do it? Just hit him? Just hit him. It's only 25% chance anyways. You are not DPS. Luckily. Would you quit missing? Am I, are you gonna go mad because you missed? She might. I speak, they burn. And you... If I move my moonbeam now, I, I might actually hurt myself by moving the moonbeam. I'm just gonna cast a magic missile. Some, some bread and butter. It says, like, Radiant Orb or something on him. I don't know what that's trying to say. Radiating Orb. Affected entity has minus one to attack rolls for each remaining turn. Sheds bright light in an area surrounding it. You weren't getting away from me. Why didn't you do anything? Don't forget to summon the most important party <laughs> member, Bark Bark. I did forget to summon the dog. <coughs> Familiar scratch, it's an action. Is it worth it? <coughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I cast him in the moonbeam. I'm sorry, scratch. I wasn't looking, it was just a bright light. I can't even move the moonbeam right now because that would have been my action. Oh. If you move away, you get an attack of opportunity, right? I don't see the line for the attack of opportunity. But I do need to make a... <laughs> He's just burning alive in the... <laughs> Sorry, Scratch! Alright. He's glowing. I should have done the miss thing! That would have been three hits! Ah, oh, Scratch died. <laughs> Dude! Gale! Gale just walked through the moonbeam! I'm sorry, but that is a huge flaw in your game. When you have people that just like, oh, battle's over, just don't give a flying fuck and jump into lava. That's so bad. Alright, take the moon lantern. It looks bad, but... Lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. <clears throat> Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting. Oh boy, I can't wait to be summoned it. to help my favorite Safe person in the whole brave. world over our roof, woof, woof, pixie. I'm missing story for this. These fake creatures were well known among druidic <coughs> circles for both their playful hijinks and malicious trickery. Oh please, oh golly, me, oh my. You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. This is aberrant, twisted magic. I'm sorry you've been put through this. Release the pixie, ignore the pixie. You, you'll be needing this lamp. What's the mechanism at the base of the lantern? Your fuel for the lantern. How does that work? Who are you? I want to say this. I'm sorry, but also, like, I need you? Druid! I, no, I, but I mean, I'm thinking about just, you know... Mm, it's worth saving the world. Sorry. Some of you may die. There's a risk I'm willing to take. Give me fuel, give me fire. Give me that which I desire, Lantern. F5 it. Druid. Sympathy. Now, druid kind, please set me free. No. If I release you, you will you help me travel through the shadows? What's the mechanism at the base of the lantern? 
Smash the lantern on the ground. Ignore the pixie. I'll guts you like a ten day old if you don't release me right this moment. You would have gutted the spider guy like a ten year old. Ten day old. Gutted many ten day olds in your day? <laughs> Never give him enough rope to hang you. No, no, no. Sorry, mate. Cruel sting. Sting the helpless, a drow elf wielding this weapon deals an additional 1 to 4 poison damage against restrained targets. That kinky stuff. Potion of greater healing. Alchemist's fire. Lantern. So, if I want to use this, then I'll put the lantern here. Rip huts. Sorry you've been put through this, but I'm gonna keep you there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think it's long rest time, I'd say. Who haven't we touched? This guy. Some dead bodies down here. Rotten eggs. Thermo arcanic gloves. Noticeably white. 42 months, welcome back to you. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain two turns of heat. Engulfed in a vengeful fire, take one to four fire damage each turn, but can use heat convergence. Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. The next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. Now that could be a Karlak cool thing. Because she's kind of immune to it. Kind of. But not. Well, so me, this guy. Ron Banana. Smoke Powder Bomb. Can you still take out the Pixie or is she stuck there forever now? Um, yeah, one would say that I should be able to uh, do what we need to do and then release the Pixie. But it said that she was there. She's they're known for mockery and trickery. So like, yeah, gonna keep you there. Game told me in so many words that you're gonna backstab me. So locked. How about this? Hammergrim mist amulet. Fog Cloud Conjuration Spell. More of a assassin thing again. So I can conceal myself. Why did you jump up there, Shadowheart? I think in long rest. She can be thankful when we're done here. Oh, I didn't mean to short rest. I went to long rest. I want Binding of Isaac to look this good. Well, make a mod for Baldur's Gate then. That's the Binding of Isaac. Starian wants to talk. Still have my lantern. You know, I feel a connection between us. Like Why, if it were up to me, I'd songs. make her part of the crew, but make here swab the poop. <coughs> a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Every time there's talking. Yar! Listen to me instead! Swab in the poop deck. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. He's hitting on me again. Trust me, I'm nothing like you. That's kind of true. What do you mean, naive? I just thought you have a big heart. You like doing what's right. So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? 
when we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads. What will be the right thing to do when we hit the Moonrise Towers when we come face to face? Destroy the cult and end its evil forever. He's gonna be like, well, what if we kept them alive and used the powers for ourselves? A big heart that pumps plenty of yummy blood. Seize control of the cult ourselves. See that? That's what he wants. I'm gonna get rid of this worm and then get back to my life. Let's destroy the cult. God. No. Try to think outside the box just a little. Consider the parasites in our skulls and think how many others have the mind flayers infected. Hundreds. Thousands. And? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. I love there's a, the, 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 the assumption that we could do that. We don't even know how they're controlling them in the first place, so how the hell are we going to take that from them? Evil power, I won't do it. The very druid himbo thing to say. How would we do that exactly? I mean, I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, right? But turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying so far. there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe. And liberate the world from this evil, evil power best power no absolutely not or we could just enjoy having all the power no so much for thinking you had ambition still we're not there yet maybe you'll see tell me right about yourself no yet. leave get out of here with your trash ideas Hey, Scratch, sorry I killed you earlier. Hope you're keeping well, friend. <laughs> Here's a pet. Here's some Scritch. I summoned you inside of a moonbeam. <laughs> My bad. This'll make it up to you. I'm a good... Why is he awkward handing himself? Can't actually touch my hips. All right, well, should we just sleep then? What's Halson up to? Who cares? Halson, you mean Snoresville? Got him. You can talk to the lamp. One tip I hear from people in this game is that you should long rest more than you think. Because it, it uh, gives you a lot of story mission based stuff. I gotta, I gotta put my talk to animals on again. Which is... Speak with animals. What's up, dude? The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. <laughs> it's a bomb. Here's for for killing me in the moonbeam. What you got there, Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. <clears throat> All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. All right, pet him again. It's a cast moonbeam spell scroll, and he casts it on me. It's a moonbeam. Yeah, exactly. Uh, pristine mesh toe sandals. Thanks. That's really helpful. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to use that right now. Yeah, alright. 
Shall we go? Just looking around to make sure no one wants to talk to me. Put stuff in your camp. I think I heard the word, the the sounds of everyone dying again. He is almost full up on uh, carry capacity. I just I don't know what I would drop off. Portrait of a snowy brown beard. I I need to carry that with me. I can't not have my portrait of a snowy brown beard with me. Orval framed elven eminence. I could leave that one at home. I would be fine with that. But. It's tough. Pegasus feather? These alchemy ingredients. Go in my alchemy pouch. Right? Yeah. But they always, like, they never really organize them correctly. And make it, like, very painful to try to work in this pouch. I should just be able to, like, right-click and say, move all to, right? Can I just, like... Okay, that worked. This is all alchemy. He should start doing stuff with the alchemy. <coughs> right? I forgot how to do that. You don't need these eggs. <coughs> Excuse me. Sandals. Don't tell the dog, but I'm ditching them. Are you even using alchemy? Why not send all bags to the camp? Yeah, I could. Maybe. Broken moon lantern. I probably don't need that anymore. Even your gold. I guess it does take up 5.83... ...pounds. I suppose. He's looking a little bit better. Lantern gives you a special spell. Inspect Moon Lantern. Class Action. It's just the ability to talk to it, I think. Right? Kind of like my talk to the sentient amulet. Alright. Let's go to the... Mason's Guild, I suppose. Oh, oh. Hang on, guys, 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 fr frickin' guys, jeez. Quit walking around like idiots. They are red. That one's a little bit different looking than that one, though. That one, like, glows red. I think it's because I can hit it. This one I can't reach. Hmm. What's a Mazel? Beautiful creatures. You just go ahead and cast Spike Growth right here, right now. Scratch being summoned in the moon. <laughs> Steve was also screaming. That that's what Scratch is like being summoned in the moonbeam. It's pretty accurate. Great place for fireball. Great place for this. Oh, there's more. There's more of them. Is this enemy is surprised? Okay. You want to uh, do some uh, rage? Probably not. Yeah, well, maybe. She doesn't have the ability to actually hit somebody, though, is the problem, right? Vines sprout around me. Okay. Um, you can't really get up there, so... You could hit this guy, but you're gonna hit by the spikes, maybe, a little bit? But you gotta do it, otherwise you're gonna go crazy. Worth it! 
Worth it again. Frodo-licious 19 months. Welcome back. Sure I know Alicious. Frodo-licious. Would you turn into a bird right now? I, I could probably save my charges. Shoot some fire stoker. Do you have any cool arrows? Why can't I access these arrows? Don't forget to summon him again, BTW. Preferably not in a giant death laser this time. Can't. We'll do it after the battle. As a ritual. Did you already use your action? I think that counted when I cast the spell as the start, and that was his action. So, maybe shillelagh. Or maybe you just do nothing. You know, you did your thing. You did the thing. You, you gave it your best. Allow me to demonstrate. Gale, you're gonna just cast some stuff. Don't want to get too close because everyone tries to hit him. If they have any ranged attacks, they're gonna go for him. If you do, I'll send me crew after ye and fire the cannons upon thine location. I'm sorry about the dog, T. Allen. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate you. Welcome. Those things look like the Grinch. They do. Oh, animate dead, too. I totally forgot that we had flipping. Was it Bill the Zombie? Do you have any, uh, resistances? You don't. Let's just do our thing. Lock of the Far Realms. When you make a successful attack roll against the foe, you can change that into a critical hit. Okay. Sounds nice. Ring, 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 ring. Incoming call from John Wick. <laughs> Coming call from John Wick for killing the dog. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? Jump up there? Yeah. No. You used up too much movement speed just running to that location. Well, that sucks. You could dash. Technically. All this to avoid the spikes. Surprise! That's all you can do. Jump up, down, and across. Your strength... I can jump again. I might actually just want to jump again and not be there, because if he has to jump down into the spikes, that's best case scenario. But from this position, I could push him. So we'll push him next turn. Oh. Did I not say that they were going to come after Gale? Was I supposed to be aware that they could phase through the... this land? Why don't I get attack of opportunity on that? You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Let's cancel spike growth. Moonbeam! I, I mean, I could if I wanted to sacrifice Shadowheart. Da 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 do 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 it do. Sleet storm. There's nothing here that's not gonna hurt Shadow Heart. Hmm. Maybe we should fire a bolt for frickin' nothing. All right, fine. Turn into a bird. Cannot reach your destination. You still have your action? Why can't you reach that destination? You're a freaking bird. Fly up above, next turn come down, or maybe just go. 
poke his eyes out. Do it again. Can you now fly back? Attack of opportunity, is it worth it? Probably not. You're gonna get into the battle. Start smacking. Raven from the top ropes. <coughs> All pretty high health. Oh, maybe you could have actually gone back and helped Gale. No one's helping Gale right now. Shit. Sorry, Gale, I forgot! About you. Oh, well, he'll be fine, right? He won't be. Fine. Gale's dead. He's got a rope around my neck. Excuse me? Sir? Garroted. Strangled by a garret. Silenced and takes 3 to 18 bludgeon damage per turn. Uh, oops. I hate to break this to you. You're gonna have to nether his orb blast. Gosh, that joke is still funny. Maybe hypnot pattern. It's like one of the only things I can freaking do. He saved it anyways. Apparently I was also susceptible to that. Yeah, you're dead. He's definitely dead. Guardian, spirit guardians would be a great one to cast right now, but do I need to save those charges? Carrots are good for your A's. What are Garrett's good for your gays? Your guys? Hmm. You just don't have much utility. And let me just cast it. Spirit Guardians. Just just do your thing. That's pretty good. Can you cast Healing Word on our boy over here? So he doesn't go down? Eh, it's fine. He took me? He took me. He's taking me away. Take me away. Something, something. Oh, she should have cast the thing that every time that they miss her, she does the thing with the stuff. All right, Carlac, you're going to have to actually leave. Attacks of opportunity be damned, but you, you gotta go and help Gale. It's okay. Just fight through it. Go on now. Get. You gotta get as close as you can get. I wonder if he can teleport away if I'm next to him. Like this. I can't attack now because I just used my action to get there, but. Poke his eyes is. Rend vision. That's not very good. Is that a concentration thing or is it just he just does that until I die? All right, I'm thinking about blazing retaliation. We just took Yale somewhere else. Got the camera work is top notch. Shield blow. Oh, sure, now he wants to hurt the bird. We garroted the bird. How did he get all the way over here? This is bullshit, dude. I dashed just to get to you. Am I gonna dash again? <laughs> He's just gonna teleport again. There's like nothing I can do. Gale is just going to die. 
Period. I can't even catch my breath. This guy's also garroted now. Blinded him. Killed him. I'm gonna mend here. The reason I would mend on the bird and, and not wait till the bird gets downed. When the bird gets downed, it turns back into pickles. I can't believe your silence. He, he can't cast any spell. They're taking Gale to the tippy top of Mont Crumpet just so they can dump him. Kosher active weapon with poison. Poison him. There you go. Instructions unclear. Drank poison. Maybe if I topple him? That might work. Yeah, that worked. And he's poisoned. Nico, 17 months, welcome back. And now you're done. Can you move away while he's he's doing that? Run! Slowly stride away. Okay, I'm I'm pissed that they're hurting the bird. So you're gonna have to do something about that. Done. Nice. Shove this guy. Oh, now I'm garroted? I'm garroted. Be okay, what happens if I push him off the ledge? Do I go with? That is not fun. That is not a fun mechanic. Do you have any potions of speed? She might. It's a good idea. All right, done. <laughs> Bubbly. Blood comes easy these days. Blood comes easy these days. Is that what you just said? Why? Fly me to the moon. I think we should. Uh... Here, you're gonna go up there. We're gonna be ready on, on, on multiple locations for this teleport, I think. The last board is set. <coughs> you are not doing too hot yourself. <coughs> Excuse me, chat. Cast a firebolt on him. How much health you got left? 13. What's your best thing? You could try to push him again, but I, it might not be able to shove him if he's garroted. If you're garroted. It says no going there. I don't I don't know if that means that he'll try. I think it means maybe he just doesn't go anywhere. Really, you should, you know, they should activate when you fall into the 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 piss, the uh, piss, the uh, abyss, I mean, the chasm. It should just ragdoll physics. That would be awesome. Gale has a spell called Magic Armor. Gives him armor for the day. As in, like, I currently put that on him? Hmm. Alright, well, I guess you're just gonna try to hit him then. Over the head. The piss ability. Send him into the piss, duh. That's lame as hell. Try to shove him, I guess. Yeah, see, it just doesn't move because it's like, it just doesn't like the idea that there's a tree here. You could push them into the abyss, into the piss, but it says, like, I don't know how to do that because there's a tree there. I did, it's, it's too difficult, so when you push him, he just doesn't go anywhere. Sure. Um, did he die? I guess he died. No time to dally. Word in her name. 
Oh, you know what? He think he he was probably hurt by the the aura. Spirit guardians. Mazel should have met Lazel. He grabbed the wrong lady. Zombie and dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we short rest? I don't want to, but we're low on health. We could just drink some potions. We never even do anything with these potions of healing. But this, you only have two. I'd love to, thanks. Who's holding all the, the health potions? 23 on pickles. Yeah, you could probably share a couple of those. What's your health at now? Are you drinking that? Because your health is not updating. You drank two potions and you're at seven health still? Is this game broken? If you throw the spell on the ground, it hits AoE. Does it still heal for the same, though? If he throws the potion... On a style. That did not work. I saw a plus seven and a plus ten. I know, but then his health is still the lowest it's ever been, ever. So I guess from this thing, when I tried to drink it, it did not drink it, and I threw them in the drain. Which is crap. Drop the dwarf ribs, okay? We don't need that. I, I've never seen that before, but I, I guess that's a thing. Sure. Did we... Do we even have mage armor as this character? No, we don't. That I know of. He does have fireball, though. We haven't been slowing. How about no chromatic orb? Yes, fireball. Throwing the potion does work, but you have to group them up, like, closer. And these things have stayed interesting. Karlak, would you just get down here? Karlak? You jumped up there, you gotta be able to jump down. Oh my god, I'm gonna take eight damage, because when the battle ended, she decided to try to follow the bird! Ah, oh, fucking morons, everybody. Now she's gonna hurt herself getting down. Here, step by step. Sheesh. Stupid game. Yellow chest plate. Gale. The yellow chest plate. Oh, this thing. Scroll of mage armor. That thing? Increase armor class to 13 plus dex, which is zero. Right? Or is it. Dex looks like it made it's plus one. So I could go up to 14 AC. Holy shit. Did you talk to your lantern? I don't understand why I, I would want to. Was there any reason to come in this area? Potter's chest? If we go up to 16 because of the extra stuff adds on too. Can you pack it? Take this chest. 
meet Birdmouth. What's the story? If you insist. All these idiots trying to look for keys. Luminous gloves. Read the note. Idol of Saloon? <coughs> Moon Maiden protected those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequence in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such time as we openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother, Alfred, in his ever to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the name last light not be a portent. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Investigate the saloon resistance. Okay. Anything down there? Bunch of chasm. One time viewer on YouTube and sub for probably a few years at this point. Hope you're having fun and long live Leonard. G Gavatsu. Welcome to the stream. Not sure what you mean, long live Leonard, but I'm assuming that's like a homage. Alright, we... This looks like a dangerous area. This looks like a trap, doesn't it? The light between the standing torches is going to be like... You're going to be locked in this area. Quick save. Maybe a little short rest then. And then quick save again. Finished my third playthrough of this yesterday. Alright, spray the trap. Hell yeah, water. Yoink. Doesn't this look like... Continual flame. So what does that mean? Enveloped in flames that produce no heat and never seems to die out. That That's why it's glowing? Alright. Lost backpack. You can throw water, so electric tacks have advantage. True. Mr. Boombox, two months. Hard to catch streams since I'm stationed in Korea. Well, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Day four, scouting mission dispatched by Catheric Thorm to Shadowlands. Objective, locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reached outskirts of village. Disturbing sound echoes through the shadows. Must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. It's the way people tend to pay tribute. Typically of important people, you say. Like, long live the king? Sure. Got it. Always making sure that you, you know, some people come on and they, they don't know what happened. But I see what you mean. Thanks for joining us. Alright. Let's... Head on down south. We're loaded up and trucking. We're gonna do what they say can't be done. Got a long way to go. Short time to get there. This is a battlefield. An old one, but still. Three bones. Price of pride. A record of Cantharathorm's speech to his troops before his victory over the druids and harpers. Take this, you there. 
Take this from me. That is gold, friends. Let those who are coveted, co coveters and cravens among you take my gold and go. That's enough to keep you warm in winter, but in those cold and lonely winters to come, you will look into the bought flames in the purchased hearth and see you bargained for peace. And then you'll realize that such a retirement comes at the price of pride. Go on and take it, take it and go. Those who are not afraid of me and me, we won't stop you, but nor shall we know a winter in which the coin of regret is idly spent. Instead, we shall know blood and fury and a triumph worthy of a flame reconcilable only with heaven. I swear it against us arrayed as a group of fools. Let them be our bank vault. Let us raid them, friends. Let us grow rich on screams. Horrifying. Are you the bird? My playable character is Druid Pickles the bird, yes. Alright. Thank you for the five dollars, Kavatsu. Appreciate it. What's a fast food food place you know is disgusting but love to eat from anyway? Mine is Taco Bell. To me, it's the worst place to get tacos, but I love it. Taco John's is a very similar one. They have the potato oles. They're they're good. With the nacho cheese dip. Disgustingly good. He's bound and down. It's a little dead end here. I suppose we could just check out before we take off. Rarely go to Taco Bell unless it's midnight or later. I, I feel like uh, my temptations to go to fast food restaurants have dwindled since I now know that they charge 10 times what they did 10 years ago. You could go to Ta or Taco Bell, not Taco John's. You go to Taco Bell and get an entire full meal and be so full that you vomit for $6. And now it's like $26. Zyre the dollar. Huts, you need to move somewhere to Eastern Europe so I can watch you why I am not on vacation also, XD. <coughs> Thank you for the dollar, Zyre. Gotta move, I gotta move to Eastern Europe. Sold. That's all I needed to hear. It was just a vague suggestion. Should I be activating my my uh, my thing? We probably don't need it yet, right? Until we get to Moonrise Towers. Here you can buy two full meals for twenty four dollars. Worked to Taco Bell for three months and our price is raised six times. Yeesh. Yeah, that's not good. The whole point of, of, uh, Taco Bell is, is, was, was how cheap it was. Like, you knew it was gross, but it was so cheap, you couldn't say no. Potion of mind reading. Probably not gonna use that. Watch old bandit run. This looks like something about to happen. So that's be Pickles the bird. Come on, party leader. Is this the big show? Not really, not yet. I mean, it's close. Something off the left here. Let's go there first. Maybe there's a uh, secret entrance. Or maybe it's the only entrance you're supposed to go to, but you don't know that until you walk up here, and then they're like, it's blocked. There must be another way. You just bypass that, be smart enough. Shadow Vestige is one of those shadow guys that died. Probably means that they're gonna pop out of these things and try to attack me. Used to be cheap. Knew it was cheap. Not worth it anymore. Five guys recently for the first time think it's insanely overhyped. Five guys is just really expensive. For what you get. Sylvan stone. Yeah, we're gonna get ambushed here, I feel like. Roland. Who's Roland? 
Rolling, 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 raw hide. I knew it. Oh, Roland's going down. Should I activate my moon thing? The lantern? They did a full reset on the value menu. Bit of a Taco Bell connoisseur. You have to use the app to get the good discounts, but they just did menu resets today and pushed further into being too expensive for what they offer. Use the lunar lamp. Never had Costco pizza. Yeah, Costco's still... Get, get your hot dog from Costco, food court. Can you get in without a membership to buy a hot dog? I won't give Pickles, you. you're gonna have to turn out of this form if you want to use the, the moon lantern, but I don't know if that's the right call, you know? Home Depot has decent hot dogs. Home Depot has hot dogs? Maybe if there's a food truck out front. Hot dogs are worth the membership. How do I cancel bird form? Uh, yeah, da 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 Where's the button? This one? Dismiss wall shape. My Home Depot has a hot dog cart. Yeah, that, you might be the only one. Is this game always third person? Yes. I'm gonna hit him with the lantern? That sounds incredibly stupid. Did you just walk through fire? You walked through the fire. Speaking of incredibly stupid. I'm assuming if I walk close enough to these guys, they're gonna, like... I'll be able to, yeah, I was gonna say, I'll, I'll be able to see them then. There we go. Perfect. And then I'll have everybody else smack them. Any weaknesses? Radiant vulnerability. You don't have anything radiant. Shadowheart does, though. Sacred flame or guiding bolts? Sacred Flame is Cantrip, Guiding Bolt level 1. Eighty percent chance, still missed. Yeah, buddy. The shadows are weak to the lamps. This is gonna feel good. Legacy of Avernus Branny Smite? Once per long rest? Action bonus action. Yeah, what's your uh, resistance? Just slight resistance, okay? You can still just smack them then. You probably do fine. Save your good stuff for when we think we're in trouble. Well, well. Look what we have here. Stepped into the fire too, which is super cool. I love that. You should step into the fire. It's good for you. Nice, dude. All right, let's get some rage. The Vines one, my least favorite. One can't always be a gentleman. Indeed. Too close and you're gonna get hit. Um... Fire... Yeah, all the way up. Cold. Ne poison immunity, necrotic immunity. It's pretty much just like, not gonna take that much damage from... Magic, but nothing about force, right? Nothing about force. You could magic missile. Pickles, get up there with your lantern. The movement speed through this, the thing, though. Can you just dispel, end your rage? Just end it. It's not worth it right now. Well, so much for peace. 
Not enough movement. You need... Five meters to jump. Still can't get there. Did they fix that? Because they used to be able to just jump wherever you wanted to go all the time. Jump was like the hack for movement. It seems like they maybe fixed it. Another step forward. I smell blood. Oh well. Need to learn the hard way. Uh. Died anyways. God damn it all! I could do nothing right! Not a damn thing! Pathetic wizard. Of course you need saving. I don't care about me, you empty-headed Luddite! I came here to save Kalanir. Instead, I found myself cornered by shadow fiends and in need of rescue from you, of all bloody people. Should I have left you to die? Trying to help your family, you're too hard on yourself. Shut up and be grateful I saved your sorry tale. Nobody asked you to. I failed Cal and Leah again. Be on your way. I'll return to last light. I know when I'm outmatched. Why don't you just come with us, you idiot? I tried! I got to the front door, kind of, and then I was hit by something, and I decided to leave. It might have been a fly. I don't know, but it... I'm disoriented and I need to go lay down in the inn and have have beer With haste. while my friends die. When will the locked chests learn? No one cares. Wow, well, look at me. I've got a lock. Gloom strand shield. Stealth plus one. A smooth fly. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. No, 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 Glass goblet. Fancy. Uh -huh. Here we go. Right, pickles first at that lantern. If probably dispel the light or the, the, the barrier, right? It's advanced darkness. Come on now, everyone in. What does this all look like in here? Very haunting. Can't see much though. This can't be Doomrise Towers right here, right? Moonrise. Moonrise Doom Rise. Open up. Golden Ring. Golden. Moonbeam your dog? Oh, you know what? You tried to mention me to do the zombie thing, and I, I forgot again. But I, I, we can do it now. Or not. We can't do it now. It's too late. No zombies for us. But maybe dog? Blessing of Saloon on the dog. Skelly boy, we need some more flesh. Salutations. <clears throat> so maybe you could just raise him as a, as a skeleton then. Instead of a zombie. I like the zombie so much better though. He just needs more goo. To him. No one stopped me yet. Okay, go up the stairs? You think we go to the building? What's that? Maybe not. Maybe we don't go to the building. <laughs> maybe not. No, we probably should still go, but I don't know what that is. Excuse me. 
What is it? No one knows. Spooky scary. Should mind my step. Hello? There's multiple of them. Visage of regret. It's got psychic vulnerability. What else does it say? Controls part of the coins protecting the toll collector? Okay, so... There's probably some sort of being controlling the, the heads. <laughs> Something to the coins. On second thought, Mr. Floatin' Glowin' Skull, I think I left me of anon back in the grub galley. Can I hit it from here? Path is interrupted. I can magic missile him and see what happens. If I end up pulling out one of the Visage of Regrets, then maybe that's a good thing, right? Um, yeah. I'm I'm hearing something walking around, and I am hearing some coins jingle jangling. I can't see him though. Oh, right there. Garingothorm, keeper of coins. Six. Whoa, that's some <coughs> Dark Souls stuff. Coin helmet, coin cuirass, coin quiz. Vambrace? Cursed coins have gathered around the toll collector's head, increasing her overall health. That's dope. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try to hit this thing from the side and see if we can't start. It, it might activate the fight against the coin guy. And, and maybe the skulls don't move, you have to like run around and try- oh, hello. Excellent choice. Just hit him. See what happens. Invulnerable. Okay. Not sure what to do about that. Coin dude has some nice cake. Restart. Can we talk to the coin awesome person? I'm assuming it they were red. Seems pretty angry and evil. No one back home will ever believe this. Um, don't want to draw any attention. Draw the attention of the thing. Um, but we gotta sneak up on the, the faces. I'm assuming the faces have cones of vision and could probably tell the gold thing where we are. And I don't think we could kill anybody that has 600 health. But I don't know how to get up there and deal with these guys. They have a immunity to what was it again? Psychic damage? Do we do anything that's psychic? I don't think so. I don't think we have any psychic damage. I need to concentrate. Blindness. Bestow curse. Hmm. They're vulnerable to sigh. I don't think I have anything that would do that. And I really have to pee. Is now a good time to, to pee break? No one will see you with that giant glowing aura from the lantern. Uh, I gotta pee. I'll be right back.
Okay. Solid gold person still doesn't seem edible. Gold is a soft metal. This person's up on the second floor. Too bad, because it'd be nice to be able to zip up to the second floor and take out some of these skulls, but... I hit one of the skulls, it then went poof, and it was gone. I'm assuming it teleported to a different location. There might only be one way to kill them with a psychic spell, and, and in one hit... I don't know. I don't know. Should we sneak in and see what happens? Or find one of these skulls, maybe, and hit him in the face. Can't wait to sell this rubbish. There's one right there. But yeah, it seems like take out the skulls, decrease the health. The main boss. Who's our best hitter? Probably Karlak. But... This is that advanced darkness. I'm not sure that anyone can survive outside of this aura. So I'm going to have to get the aura up to him. Then send Karlak in. Can't get through. You guys are all a bunch of bubbling morons. Let's march. Can't reach destination. Because we need to be closer with the. What's cooking? Why can't you reach the? What do you mean you can't reach the destination? Here we go. Ready? Activate TB. TB? Testicle bounce. Wham! It's invulnerable to everything except for psychic? Well, okay. We'll just give up then. Guess that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. The game's over. Would you guys not not crouch? Please stay crouched. Breathe deep and move. Did they fix the thing where enemies can see you up and and down different floors? I'm hearing another skull. I don't see him though. <laughs> Just insult it. Really good. Yeah, I don't have a, a bard. You can kill it without fighting, but it high rolls. Might be immune to everything right now, but it has a condition or something. I don't see where the skulls disappeared to, so I'm like maybe it is worthwhile to still hit them. Scare them away. Is this a is this slight vision cone on the ground here that I'm seeing? Heck, dude, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't like any of this. I was only able to send a Tim earlier. I had to deal with the horse. That horse is now mom. Yeah, I did clean horse birth blood off myself. That's exciting. Zoom in more. I'm just thinking about maybe going through, trying to find a, 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 a window or something to climb in at the top. Or see if there's anything up in here. Shadow Curse Harper. Ooh, some sack. 
Can't cast spell, garroted. What? No, I'm not. You see this right here? Game's lying. Dirty toilet seat. Oh, don't sit on it. I thought you were going to search for something in there. Oh, gross. Cleaver, knife, dog collar, cat collar. You think I can get up there? Going through the ceiling, maybe? Anybody have anything psychic that you can use? I think the pink is psychic, right? But they're not doing damage. Maybe f fairy fire? Also not damage. Wanna dance? What's next, I wonder? Tolerable. The ring of mental inhibition has psychic damage stuffs. I guess I could check all my stuff. Where a summoned creature has resistance to all damage except psychic. No, that's not what I want. Who took the ring? For some good news. Need to keep what was it? Focus. This one right here? Self-immolation. Nope. Above all. Is it Pickles? You had the ring? Despite everything. I don't know where the ring went. When a foe fails saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they gain mental fatigue. <clears throat> We're not getting attacked by the skulls. A lithid powers. Would you be against looking into horror games or streams? The genre is a bit saturated with F, F with FNAF, sorry, not FNAF. And Ban Ban likes right now, but there's plenty good horror games worth streaming. I'm not a huge fan of horror. I try to avoid it at all costs. Sometimes we'll play one though, every now and again. It's just not something that I look for. All right. Well, that's going to lead me to the f the bottom floor again. Tasteless. Lots of skulls up there. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe I think we might just skip this. It looks insane, and I don't feel like I have any ability at all to do anything that they want me to do. It's going to be one of those things where I go in there and I battle it. I'm going to say, how the frick am I ever supposed to win something like this? It's such a stupid battle. And then someone's going to say, well, you're supposed to take care of the skulls first, but you can't. Hutz doesn't know anything about this game. Hutz never knows anything about any games ever. Big surprise. Blah, 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 blah. Outside, out of mind. Why not talk to the gold thing? I think it's an enemy. You want me to walk in there and just talk to it? I know city builders, you seem to like them. Roots of Idrisil. There's a checkpoint, we should get that. You can talk, though. Ahem. <coughs> <clears throat> they might show up later. Oh, well, spoiler. I gotta what, just jump onto the stairs? Or up here? Is that the only way to get up? Whole area looks like a pain. Can be forgiven. 
backbone for the right price. Who are you? What do you require? I'll bring an end to the curse that shrouds this land. I bring wine? Greater balance to the natural and civilized world, I hope. I bring you death. I require gold. Seems to me you have enough. If I give you gold, what do I get in return? I have no more gold. Toss the creature a gold piece. How much do you want exactly? All that you have. I sent most of my gold to camp. I'm assuming it's not going to take my camp gold. Right? So if I have like 20 pieces of eight. I mean, what did you expect? I don't have so much gold for so little in return. Why stay in this rotting building? Take your gold and be free. I'm here to replace you as toll collector. It's my job now. I think it's only on hand. You're getting mugged and you ask how much you want. I'll become the gold lady. Eighteen. No problem. Maybe problematic. Maybe. <coughs> Maybe a small problem. All right. Not getting any better. I'm, yeah, I'm not paying gold, I'm paying inspiration right now. Not any better. Is this worth it? Holy, the worst rolls I've ever seen in my entire fucking life! Sick, dude! Love that. It's a really cool game. You just punched my dog. And everyone didn't even make it up here onto the frickin' stairs yet. Biter. You missed, and you only had to do 606 damage. Are these guys still immune? To everything. It doesn't say they're immune to all damage. I don't understand why I wasn't able to kill them. What can you do? What are you... Do you have any resistances? No. There's a ladder to the ceiling. I, I hit him already with the with the magic missile and it didn't bother them. Necromancy. Uh, uh, how about Nether Resort Blast? AC Dex reduced by two. That sounds pretty good. Can I hit the same one uh, more times? I guess I'll slow the other skulls like it matters. Target's out of sight. Well, you did your best, at least. And then do nothing. Potion of mind reading. Maybe I should have started with there, with that. Fuck yes. 
I'm gonna attempt to fight it, but we're gonna die. I, you know, we're gonna die. Hundred percent. Can't get up there now because you used your bonus. I don't fancy their chances. Hmm. Put him up. Maybe Gale's in the way. I don't know. Well, that sucks. Six damage, baby! I'm assuming they're technically flying, these skulls. Like I couldn't cast my spike growth underneath them to get them. Schleetstorm. Should I try to Schleetstorm them? This one's pink. What kind of damage does it do? Disrupts the concentration of spellcasters, douses fire, and creates ice surface. Okay, that's not what I want. I want damage. Call lightning. That's a small little area of lightning. Should I try to lightning these guys? It's just not gonna work, but you know, I don't know what to do. Did do 10 damage. Did do 10 damage this time. And for funsies, probably turn into some sort of owlbear, sure. Death Shriek. Where are you going? If all the scum, the scum, the skulls come to me. I I love how the flying skull has to use the ladder. Uh, if they they come to me, maybe I can group them up and just take them out. Maybe better than going for a six hundred health coin lady. Weren't they immune? They weren't. Immune. They just were disappearing. I mean, it did say immune, but it doesn't say that in the resistances, which is why I was confused. It seems like I had to just be here in the battle before it would actually work. Maybe you jump down there and then go after some skulls. Does that make sense for you to do that? That might make sense for you to do that. Was it necrotic resistance? Poison immunity. Necrotic resistance. So she could jump in there and cast some spirit guardians and try to take some of them out. She could have also gone up here to try to do that same thing, but maybe splitting up is the best. Radiance. 17 damage on one of them. That's pretty good. Alright. Oh, I'm so, I did not mean to even... What, whatever. Fuck you. Ninety-eight damage on Carlac. You did ninety-eight damage on Carlac. Are you sure? That doesn't sound right to me. Is it because Carlac has ninety-eight coins on her? She's got three thousand five hundred thirty-five coins. So maybe it's like X percentage of how much gold you're. Carrying? I don't know. That seemed fucked up. It's okay, like, yeah, I guess you're just gonna help her up, because what the hell else are you gonna do? Nothing. That's right. Maybe maybe you misty step out of the, the way. Into the shadow curse. Oh, I didn't think about that. How about we just quit? Give up time, I think? Not enough resources, action, because you just got up. Right. Get up there. <coughs> I 
get up, get up, and get down. Probably going to be multiple hits that are going to get you back down, so maybe in this situation I would take a health potion. Because I want you to have an action by the next turn so that you can start to heal via damage. Send the gold to camp between actions. Might have been gold blasted. Just was wondering why she took so much damage over everyone else. It might be worth it to try to hurt the skulls first, like I was saying. But is that attack of opportunity? Looks like no. False. Seventeen damage. Give in to the owlbear's base instinct to increase your strength by two and possibly make nearby creatures fearful. Should really, once again, start with those things, but... Coin Bam Brace down. <clears throat> Just get closer. Just get closer to them. So close to finishing these guys off. Do you have AoE, more AoE spells? Not really. Thunderwave? Four, four health left and that guy might die at the beginning of the next turn because of the Spirit Guardian Aura. Would you stop getting an attack of opportunity? Liar. So what's her deal then? She's down to 400 health. So it's 100 health per skull. The shield. Could use Blazing Retaliation. When they miss me. Are they attacking me? You might as well. You might as well rip it all. Seems like it's gonna be a tough fight. Twelve damage. Oh, you're gonna fly up to the ceiling, you little bee. Oh, she's gonna go up to the ceiling? Gold lady from the top ropes? Fearful, that means she runs away. Is that what's going on? Can we throw a skull off the building? Do you think I could hit him with a cloud of dagger? Can't really see them. Yeah, I'd have to stand right behind her to do that. I would imagine I'd be able to cast my magic missile now. Level 3, all here. All this guy. Try it. Yeah, didn't kill it all the way, but you did do some damage. Let's cut the fire, baby. Kodak. Want another? You gotta start hitting people so you can heal, please. 10 damage is much better. <coughs> oh, my, my rage. Did that wear off already? Because I went down? Or did I not do it? I think it wore off because I went down. Magic lashes out to whenever you take damage, hitting your attackers in retaliation. Perfect. That's a good one. Mortal confinement. Who just used jump? It just jumped out of the spirit guardian aura. <laughs> the flying skull jumped out, y'all. Oh, what do I do? Do I go up there and bite her? I don't want her to push me off. Focus on the skull, probably. Let her come back down. 
Achievement. Kill a character with an unarmed strike. That's the first time I've ever killed anything with an unarmed strike? No. That's not right. Can I jump down on that skull? Not really. No. Isn't there another one? It's just that one? Down to 300 health? I could do this. Kind of looks like I'll be able to get away with that. Push her off them. If I jump, if I crawl up here, she's in front of me, right? I don't, I don't think I'll be able to get around her. But I guess I could try. Potion of speed for extra attacks. Um, got a lot of potions. This one, potion of speed. We're actually doing all right right now, so I'm gonna maybe hold off on that. I only have one, but you're right. Can I can I crawl to the other side without getting an attack of opportunity from her? Kind of seems like yes. And now can you push? This one doesn't really have a push. Right? So maybe just just hit her. Really should hit this guy. Still can, still can probably. Is there an attack of opportunity there? No. Very nice. Oh, she's got tiny little legs. She got little legs. Fear means she won't provoke attacks. I don't know if she still is feared. Threatened. I don't think fear anymore. Alright, well, that's better. As long as she doesn't pick me up and throw me off. But I do kind of have wings. Venomous guilt, 10 damage on me. Um, is there a way that you could position yourself to hit both of them with your aura? Maybe you're like right here? Hmm. Oh, you don't have it anymore. You got hit and you lost it. I was going to say. What happened? Alright, just smack it then, I guess. Maybe with the firebolt. 55, normal is actually 60. Go go for another normal smack. You're the worst. You are actually horrible. You are... Why are you with me? Awful. Combustible coin. She just planted a bomb on the ceiling. Alright, we got... Very predictable things to do here as you, aka nothing but magic missile all day, every day. She's super naked now. And you maybe just hide back in the corner. Karlak, you probably could go up there and start smacking her booty, right? Once again, though, we want to position herself so that it can't hit me off. Why is she so gross? She kind of looks like uh, Dark Souls um, when you start. What are they called? Oh, don't touch that bomb. Provokes attack of opportunity. Gold. I don't know if you can get around her. You can jump. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, you're just gonna risk it. If she picks me up and throws me on the gold bomb, that's that's bad news, but... She's not having a good day. <coughs> hollow. Yeah, she looks like a hollow. 
Headbutt. Took three damage because it missed. What if I hit Gold Lady into the gold bomb? What is the, up with this movement? Why can't you just inch forward a little bit? Why do you have to go there or there? Someone explain to me. Am, am I dumb? I just want to, I just want to move a little bit. I want to put, I'm going to move right here and hit her into the thing. Because he is bus sized. Oh, this little hole here, maybe? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Is that, is that it? Well, the owl bear would fall into that tiny hole. Okay, so now, oh, but what about this though? He can only move in increments of 1.6 meters. Seems silly. Oh, she dodged it. You better... It's one health! Shadow. One. Singular health. Just hit it. Is she dead? She's got to be dead now. I can't see. Sometimes the only way out is through. Six health. Let's let's get a look at you. I feel like I should have been able to get that gold. <clears throat> I'm ready. You're ready. SpongeBob style. Moving. Yeah, get 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 going on getting up there. 98 damage again. Fair. That's pretty fair. I don't necessarily have a word for that, but I think fair works. Uh, if I go up there and I go to the right, I'm going to blow up. Not enough movement speed anyways. Because I, I can't even climb the ladder. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you're going to do. What now? Pickles... Already one successful throw, though, or successful save. So maybe you just go for the, the, the kill. Right now, and then we'll get her up. Go for the kill, and then the battle will be over, and then everyone will clump together and agree to, before I have a chance to do anything, jump on the gold mine, explode, the game uninstalls itself. Okay. Stop, don't come up here. Wait, 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 wait. Then what happened? The ladder's gone. Can someone get her up, please? Get her up. Can someone get her up? Sheesh. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Quite exhausted. We got the Twist of Fortune. When you roll a two or less with this weapon's damage die, re-roll it and take the new result. Every single magic item in the entire game, you look at it and you're like... Maybe... Kinda crap, though? I, I could give it to, uh... Shadow Heart since she sucks, but the problem here is that if she rolls a two and she re-rolls it, she'll only get a four. It could be so good with the Barbarian person since she already re-rolls stuff. It's a double re-roll. Toll House Cookie, Master Office Key. Unsigned Trade Visa. Counterfeit in progress. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally within the Toll House. Keep it. I don't know where the owl bear is going. Hundred gold per pile makes sense. Checks out. Visage. What? What do they have on them? Nothing. A bunch of turd. Pickles has seen enough. It was time for him to leave. Pickles couldn't cope with the loss of the dog again. Oh. 
Maybe we shouldn't stand on that, guys. God. Why are they programmed to do the exact worst thing at all times? She said there's something over there. Oh, uh, maybe actually I want to collapse through the floorboards. Okay. Okay, that's how we get into that area right there, right? I thought that, like, maybe too, too heavy was gonna be a bad thing. Alright, we'll, we'll get, get in there, then. Don't, don't you have feather falling? I thought somebody had feather falling. Maybe we took it off of them. Death! If I go down there, that's death. Because you have three health. Um, can you jump onto that shelf? you think that they would be able to, like, kind of, like, outside of battle, be able to hold onto the ledge and, like, lower themselves gently? This guy's got ritual feather fall, right? That's what I'm talking about. How long does it last, though? Come on, let's go. Ten turns. Yeah, we gotta hurry. What's in here? Ritual can be cast again, though. Didn't we just pick up a key? Did we? Didn't we? Hello. Crystal ball. Book. Selling it prayer book. Cool stuff. Scroll of color spray, great axe plus one. You got it for the office. Maybe there's a, a thing in the office that'll uh, let us open this. Use Gale to knock it. The path less traveled. Boom, baby. Hey, good looking. Can't wait to get the stuff that doesn't matter in here. <coughs> Fireheart! Fervent flames. Whenever you take fire damage dealt by another creature. Damn, I was thinking, like, light yourself on fire, and then it's a synergy. You gain two turns of heat. Advantage on death saving throws on Karlak right now. Maybe I should give that to freaking Gale. What does Gale have around his neck? The Ray of Fear and Wounding Ray. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's whatever. Knock works on chests I never knew. It said anything with the whatever lock, right? Path is interrupted. Death again. <coughs> Gale, <coughs> I need your feather fall again. <coughs> Immediately. Can you cast it down, downstairs? Is it still using a thing? A spell slot? It shouldn't, right? Because it says ritual. I don't think it did. Did you get it? You did not get it. He can't, he can only cast it on the same level. Okay, well... What, what then? You just die? Give scroll of feather fall. Potion of feather fall. Everything has to be the most difficult thing ever. Was it boots of feather falling? This is the part about the game I hate the most. Potion of feather fall. We Shadow Curse, my bad. Hurry up. Get up to the top. I've got a long road ahead. Team, you need to get down there and help her out. I can't see shit. I can't see shit. The the camera, that's one of the other things I hate the most. Can't he jump down and cast it again? Probably. 
Why do we have to do this? Group up, everybody. What is fucking happening? Everyone's dying. Because they're stuck upstairs, apparently. Alright, we're good? Are we good? Where's this office? Safe door? Strength? Mark of the Shitter? Elixir of Hill Giant Strength, plus zero. Alright, 28. I think I get... I think I got it. Not sure why that was a strength thing. One gold! Ya yeah, buddy. Ritual healing. I don't think she's got ritual healing, but she does have a... Healing word. Mass healing word. On my equipment. It's the cursed one. It was jammed, you had to pry it open. Is there a heal ritual that I have that I don't know about? I don't think so. You do another short rest, too. Might have been better to do that during a battle. I don't know. Karlak has barely even felt that at all. The mercy that I can only be used out of combat. The mercy? All's well that ends. You guys think this is a, a, a curse piece of gold? Picked up 514 gold. Okay, so it was more than that. That was 21... 14... Who's saying this? Open this cage, you munting asshole. Ooh. It was like coming from Pickle. Cool torches, bro. Just not the office. Who's got the key? What a charmer. What is it? Nope. Is that blood? No, never mind. Traveler's chest. up single gold coins suddenly explodes into 500 coins in a glitchy mess yar that's like a wet dream for me trap disarm toolkit wooden trunk hell yeah key well which one have we not opened Booze, water. Let's try the key here. How is the owlbear stopped by a few planks? It's medium toughness. I can, you know, hit it, but it's probably not gonna. Medium toughness. That's like for babies. Opulent chest. Where are you going? Open the damn thing. But it's locked. Medium toughness. Try it again. Again. I told you medium toughness, we can't get through. I don't know why the door went down. Must have been a crit. 
Medium toughness is like gotta be at least X amount of damage. At least 22. Dude, you can you can do 22. It's easy. All day. Come on. You can get through rarely. You can do 20. He's got 25 max. Just keep trying. It's gonna be multiple hits too, because it's 50 health. Try the wooden desk. I didn't like what was in there. Break it. Uh, there's gonna be a key somewhere, right? Let's go over to the study, the office. What? Why are you on the ceiling? Who said to go on the ceiling? Are you winning? Maple. I'm trying. Pickles says, taken Toll House Master's off key, office key from Carlac. Okay, we got in. It's got to be a key for the chest in here, right? Grab that. Made with a duster. Yeah. Need it. Hmm. What else is in here? A statue. Can't do anything with a statue. Toll House Ledger. <coughs> I got a key, but it wasn't the key. An official record of traders and goods passing through Rythwin, as well as the tolls collected. Blah, 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 blah. Where would you put the key? There we go. What's this? Iron Vine Shield. While the wielder is holding a weapon empowered with shillelagh. And when they are hit by a melee attack, the melee attacker, or the attacker takes three piercing damage. <laughs> I, at this point in time, I want to see something that's like, if you have powered up with the shillelagh, then you fire... 25 damage lasers out of the tip of your penis twice per turn and, and then I would still be like I don't know maybe I'd go with the laser penis maybe it's better than nothing I guess but if you take that and let's just say you were using your staff which is what you need We're using this one. What were you using? I'm mean, using claws now, but whatever. I'll just go ahead and forget that I even have that when we get back into our form. No big. Absolute outfit. That would look darling on me. Heavy book. On the wall hangs seaside landscape, which often catches my eye during the course of my work a day life. I'm surprised Garing off chose such a decoration for her toll house. I've never known her as a appreciator of nature, beauty, art. Not but the cold clink of gold. One day when my days are repaid, I'll travel to the coast, breathe in two deep drafts of air, and forget Rythwin forever. Neat. All right, let's break through the floor. Laser penis be more of a curse than a blessing. Amen. What do I have to lose? Into the black hole? Oh, portrait of a trade master. Oh man, you almost missed the good stuff. <clears throat> How do I go? Not dash. Jump. Uh, you can't jump into an area you can't see, so what was the point of the floorboards breaking? I think I needed to stand on the floorboards as they were breaking. What the heck, man? I really wish there was a button here that was just like, look up one floor, look down one floor. I mean, on the map there is, but... Do not let me near soft floorboards. 
Check the books. Yep, so that solved everything. These books? Sick. Yeah, I can't go down. I must have had to, once again, stand on top of the boards as I broke them. Because there's not a way to jump into nothingness. I think the owlbear is just too big. I think that I can't jump into nothingness. You need to be able to see what you're looking at, right? Path interrupted. It does say minus six right there, though. You see that? That tiny little corner. It's like I've hacked it. But if you get just the right spot, it does feel like you can jump down there. So maybe if I get the owlbear just right. Yeah, right, right there. You did it. Gold. Agate. Wyvern toxin. Guileful movement. Movement speed can't be reduced by difficult terrain or spells. You can't be paralyzed or restrained. That sounds nice for Karlak. She be schmoovin'. Potion of Featherfall. Karlak. How do I get back up now? Reception failed. There's a button. But I can't push the button because I don't see the button. On then, what do you do? Yeah, I could just uh, feather fall and then throw everybody down and then I can have somebody figure out there's a button there so I can open this door and get out. But what if I don't? That seems weird that I can give this to Asterion when he's not with us. Makes just as much sense, I suppose, as being able to magically trade it between us. Is that it down here? Yes. Teleport out with the map. I could just teleport here. We didn't get everything we needed. I can just walk back in, I suppose. <coughs> Excuse me. What have we not seen yet? It does kind of look like there's a basement. But it says chasm. Use light near the button. Does that work? I mean, it would have just taken me outside, right? Maybe, maybe not though. What if it was like actually like a little room that I missed? Which room was that? So hard to see anything in this. Here. Looks like it just opens right here to the outside. No biggie then, but hey, look at that. There's a uh, doors down there, so it does look like there's actually a basement that we could access. So we should do that. Getting real cold over there this weekend. Minus 30 here with... Minus 50 with wind chill. Fahrenheit? It's gonna be... Looks like minus 10. I think we used the office key already, so that's found. There's the chest we can't open. Medium toughness. I guess I could just knock it like we did the other one. I just figured that there's probably a key somewhere to just... There probably is. If we just look long enough. Instead of using our spell slots. Seek and you shall find me. Like, I don't know. What's in it? 
Gosh, I hope it's Fahrenheit. It's Kelvin. Gloves of Battle Mage power. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane acuity. Which is plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class for each remaining turn. Plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class. Number that must be matched or exceeded to succeed. Hmm. Seems cool. Better than gloves of missile snaring. No one's been sending missiles at Gale. Like, they know that he's got missile snaring. Middle of summer, we got 40 Celsius. Spell difficulty class is how hard your spells are to resist. That seems pretty good for Gale. We try it out. It's got missile snaring, but like I said, no one's shooting him. Wear him. Wait, you didn't have missile snaring? You had bracers of defense? You have missile snaring. Plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or hurling. That might be better. That might be better. <laughs> He's also not meleeing. <coughs> He's hit people with his stabs. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition. Well, who's, uh, who's uh, inflicting conditions that would also benefit from arcane acuity? Dude, I just feel like every single item in this entire game fucking blows. Never wanted the easy part. Of course they don't want to give you something that's super overpowered. Right? And they know you're going to have to combine like 75 different things in order to do like one small little task. But it's like... I don't know, man. Maybe I need more pockets. We can't just get something that's like, oh boy, that is good. All right, I think I'm maybe done here in this house. Oh, look at this vine that we could have climbed up to the, the, the roof. Didn't even see that. Let's go to the, well, I said I'm done with the house, but there is a basement, so let's go to the basement. You have gold, is there a magic item shop near? I mean, it's the same thing, right? You go to the shop and you're like, I can spend a bunch of gold for this axe plus one. Secret room. You mean the basement? Get an F5 off for good measure. Those always sell crazy items. If I recall correctly, don't remember if there are any here though because I'm not... Because I'm in my PT, all the friendly people died. And you are playthrough. Locked. Medium toughness. Take it down, bear. Get it. Come on. You can do it. I believe. Here we go. Come on now. I don't want to knock the basement door. Elminster's not around. I can't oh, even. I'd have to. I'd have to upcast it. <sighs> Heavy oak doors. It has a symbol on there, like it's gonna actually enter a new area. Carlock with an adamantine sword. Me sweat. Speedy reply. It says hits an object, it's always critical. But it's only five to fourteen damage. So it's still not twenty five or whatever it is. Twenty three. Can't you just pick the lock? <sighs> Never a dull moment. 
We don't have decks on us, but yeah. Twelve, thirteen, ten, thirteen. Let's try it. No. Nope. And these things have stayed interesting. It was there. When I first clicked on it, it was there. And now I can't? You saw it there, right? And then I was like, hang on a second, let me check something else. And now it's gone, the option. Press control for a shorthand for your last main attack. Main hand attack. I saw it, dude. What happened? What the? Because he doesn't have any lockpicks. That's why. He doesn't have hands. Wow! Woo! Thieves tools, 20. This is fun. Good game. You have like minus 23 or something? What's going on? That's just the worst possible rolls like I've, I've ever seen in this game today. Better. That's better. Let's get a, a more short rest there. Should long rest, because Gale's almost out of all of his stuff. But let's just see what's going on in here first. Can't give up now. The heavy oaken doors. What is this? A burlap sack. I can't believe I did all of this for nothing. For some rotten cheese. That's curious. Button. If I don't have hands, how can I do that? Slick. <coughs> Heavy chest. Gold. Rotten eggs. Alright, forget about it. Bunch of trash. Go on the thing. Garingoth's logbook. Messy financial ledger records an import tax charged to merchants by the Rythwind toll house. The tax was clearly excessive and include gems and jewelry in addition to gold. Several notes are scribbled on the final page. Trade slowing, merchants scared of Catherick, nervous of war, he will not take my due. So this guy was fighting. Stump under autumn tree. Mmm. Gotta have it. It's a lot of stuff there. Soul coin. What's a soul coin again? Oh, that's for Carlac. And I should not put that in her wares. Remove from wares. She has four soul coins right now? Bruh. Wants to say something. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is... I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zara mm -hmm. used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Let's find out. Go on, try it now. Well, it's a soul coin is a person, in a way. A lost person. Next time we're in battle, we'll make sure you get one. Really good use. Fuck yes. Now I just need some. Is that the thing that I, I give to the guy that does the stuff? The same thing? Please select that. Leva. That probably opens the door from the inside. Valley with Brook. Nah. That's a lame painting. We're gonna climb down. Didn't really end up using the coins until Act 3. Anyone home?
Rotten tomato. Rustic chest. Arrow of arcane interference. Break your target's concentration and silence it. That sounds awesome. Yes, please. Good arrow. Is that it for here? Just these things? Kinda seems like that's it. Feels like there should be something more down here, doesn't it? Guess not. Something something Carlac coin slot. Yeah, what does it do? It just like powers her up? Not the same thing as the infernal iron? She's already like my top person. Powering her up. Make her too powerful. Alrighty. So we still have the Mason's Guild. Punish the wicked, find the ledger. Moonrise Towers, we're really close. We should be able to see that from here. That's right where I was, right here. This is the start of that. So, super, super close. Might not even want to go this way to activate the Moonrise Towers quest. I want to get through and do the other stuff first, probably. Fires her up, I believe. 1d4 extra fire damage per hit while she's hopped up on soul juju. So if that makes her do fire damage, would it make sense for her to have that uh, fire with a with a gloves? Let's go in. Thermo archaic gloves. Whenever you do fire damage, do you get two turns of heat? Right now she's got gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. Um, which is pretty cool since she runs in there, but the heat thing could be even better. It sounds hot, no pun intended. I think right now uh, it is a good time to end this. There's a whole thing down here that we didn't even see. What the heck is going on there? That might be like back entrance to the towers. Kind of seems like alternate entrance maybe down here right would that work with the owl bear the surround people but surround by people gloves yeah what is he currently wearing on his arms he he had the uh won't even let me look at it this freaking game i just want to know what it is did he take missile snaring like, like he took missile snaring, yeah. Possibly better. Possibly better. I like your idea, because he also has the ability to get people, goad people into attacking him. So that could be nice. Anyways, good time for me to end it. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next one.